for today's Storytime Steam, we're going to read one of our very favorite books called The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carle. And then we're going to do a really fun Steam investigation where you'll create your own portable planetarium from my book Inspiring Innovation and Creativity in Young Learners. Here's what you'll need today to do our family steam exploration. A copy of The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carle. You can check this out from your library. You can do the steam investigation without reading the book. It's just fun to read this book first. You may also want to download and print off our book chat cards. For the steam challenge, you'll need these things. A flashlight, a black circle cut to be the size of your flashlight, a white crayon, safety goggles are always a good idea, some tape, whatever you have around the house is fine. Decide how you want to help your child put holes in their paper. So you'll either need a hole punch or a rubber mallet, a golf tee, and a piece of foam. So whichever method you choose, just make sure you're helping them do it safely. The first thing you'll want to do is read this book with your family. So adults, take your littles by the hand and go read and enjoy this book together. Pause this video and come back after you've read. Wasn't that a great story? Be sure to tell each other your favorite parts. Now, remember those book discussion cards? Each of you choose one and you get to lead the discussion for your question. You can choose to just do however many that you would like to do. You can do all of the cards or you can have each person just lead one card. It's totally up to your family. So pause the video again and go discuss this book with your family. Oh good, you're back. I hope you enjoyed talking about the story. Bonus question. The firefly saw so many things at nighttime, didn't he? But see if you can think of something that he didn't see. The stars, right? He saw so many cool things, but he didn't mention seeing the stars. Well, this got my son and I thinking. And I remember that someone who studies the stars is called an astrophysicist. And I read this really cool book called Kid Scientists and learned about an astrophysicist named Neil deGrasse Tyson. When he was just nine years old, one night, his life changed forever. He went to a special domed amphitheater called a planetarium. That's a big word, isn't it? Let's say that together planetarium and he fell in love with the stars and from that day on he told all of his friends I'm going to be an astrophysicist that's someone who studies the stars and all of the cool things in space and guess what that's exactly what he did he's now one of the world's most popular and well-respected scientists so our steam challenge is based on Neil deGrasse Tyson Here's the challenge from Inspiring Innovation that you're gonna do with your family today. Our dear friend, Neil, needs your help. He just visited the planetarium and is absolutely in love with studying the night sky. He saw a show about how the stars move across the sky and noticed that there were patterns and not only how stars move across the sky, but also how stars are grouped together. These special groups of stars are called constellations. He's packed a telescope and walked outside only to be greeted by a cloudy sky and pouring rain. Hmm, I wonder if there was a cloudy sky the night the firefly was out and maybe that's why he couldn't see any stars. Neil has an incredible idea though. Let's bring the night sky inside, just like they do at the planetarium. So what do you say, young astronomer or astrophysicist? Would you like to bring the outdoors in by designing and creating your own portable planetarium? you can do it. 
faults, if you have an iPhone, a really fun thing to do is to download this free app called Sky View Light, and it will show you exactly where in the sky all the constellations are. Now you don't have to do this part, you can just Google constellations, or you can even make up your own constellations. But this is a really fun app to try. Another good idea is just to go outside at nighttime and take a walk and look at the sky and the stars together. That might help you make up your own constellations also. Now you're ready to make your very own portable planetarium. The first thing you'll need is your black circle and white crayon. Draw your star pattern. Jonah's looked like this. Then with your favorite adult's help, you'll need to punch holes through each of those circles where your stars are. You can use a hole punch or you can use the golf tee and the rubber mallet and foam to put holes. It's up to the adults, but remember, you always want to have your adult help you with this to keep all fingers safe. Now grab your flashlight and tape your constellation to the top of your flashlight. Now go find a dark spot and give your portable planetarium a test. Take a look at the way the light comes through on his flashlight. And then when he shines it up at the ceiling, look at that constellation view. It almost looks like the moon. What happens if you shine your flashlight really close to the wall? What happens if you pull it farther back? Take a closer look at that cool portable planetarium you designed. I wonder why the light shines through some parts and not others. Talk about that with your family. I also wonder if you could make a portable planetarium that shines stars of different colors. How might you do that? My boys and I would love to see your portable planetariums that you created with your family. You can send those to me on Twitter at Teacher Allison. I can't wait to see all of the cool things that you create. Bye.